Refreshing and unique, in this video you're going to learn how to make a smoked lemonade with a touch of basil and pear. It's time to learn and grow together, starting now. The fully written recipe and more will be available in the description. Summer is a great time to enjoy the outdoors, especially for me here in Wisconsin. I also really relish any chance I get to fire up my mini smoker, bringing us to the first step. Get your smoker rolling and then cut about 3-4 to four lemons in half. Smoke these lemons for 3 to 10 minutes depending on the effectiveness of your smoker. The final product should have a light, enjoyable smoke flavor that is not too overwhelming. If this feels like too much work for you, you can always add just a little bit of liquid smoke to get the job done. If using liquid smoke, make sure to add only one drop at a time. Also, this is a great recipe without the smoke altogether. Now that the lemons have a little additional flavor, cut three more lemons and then juice all of them, including the smoked lemons, into a gallon-sized pitcher, or whatever container you have. Add in one pear that has been peeled, cored, and then thinly sliced, one fourth cup of maple syrup or sweetener of choice. Next, add in one tablespoon of rolled up and then thinly sliced basil. This is known as a chiffonade. After that, add six cups of water and then give it all a good stir to combine. Taste your lemonade for sweetness, and then adjust with water or more maple slash sweetener as needed. Refrigerator for at least an hour so the flavors can mingle together. The longer it rests, the pear will break down, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Serve over ice with fresh basil, lemon, and raspberries. Summer memories are here with a unique smoked lemonade. If you found value in this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up so that it can grow and help more people. What's your favorite summer beverage? If you're new to the Veggie Nerd, my name is Eric. I'm a vegan chef creating weekly food content with an occasional nerdy twist. If you'd like to empower your self-care together with food, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on a future video. But our cooking adventures don't have to stop here. If you'd like to see how I made a vegan honey using wildflowers, click the video on the screen now to check it out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.